Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I took a break from Funkos last week. So, but we are back with actually something different in the Funko train. I'm hoping to continue with all these Funko things. So I'm going to Charlotte Comic Con. Today we are going to be doing a haul of the Funko Pops that I have gotten in the last like two weeks-ish, I guess you could say. They're all from, well, they're all from stores that I um, found out through a channel called Jetta Patrol. And he went to them and I was like, oh, these are near me. I can go to them. Well, near, near-ish. Um, near-ish. So they were more like an hour away from me, which isn't bad concerning, con considering that's where um, Charlotte Comic Con is going to be. But yeah, I went to technically three different stores. Two of them have the same name. They're just in different places. Okay, let's get right into it. So, first store that I went to was called Second and Charles. It is a sister store to Books A Million. And I got one pop. Well, it's not really a pop. It's a Dorbs. But I don't really care because it's cute. And yeah. So I got this. It's a Dorbs ride, um, Freddy Funko with the ice cream truck. And they only made 4,000 pieces of it. I'm so excited that I got this. I got this for a great price. Like, it was honestly kind of shocking how much less it was than what I would have expected because it is a lot larger than a normal pop would be. And I'm super excited about it because I love Funko and I want everything to do with Funko, obviously. Because, like, I'm collecting all their pops. I would like to have some things from them in general. Like, rarer things. <laughs> right? Yeah? Okay, yeah. So that was all that I got from Second and Charles. But I'm so happy with it. The box is in great condition. Everything's in great condition. And that's what I was looking for. So the next place that I went was in Huntersville. It is called uh, Video Game World. They also have stores in Concord. No, oh, this is all in North Carolina, obviously. I Maybe if you didn't know, that's where I'm from and where I go to school and stuff like that. And I went to the one, there's three, one in Huntersville, one in Concord, and one in Mooresville. I went to the ones in Huntersville and Mooresville. I think I'm gonna go to the one in Concord, like, the day I go to Charlotte Comic Con because it's 20 minutes away. Uh, it depends on how much time I spend in Comic Con. Let's let's be real. It could be forever. I got three pops at the Huntersville one because we went there first. The first one that I picked up, I was looking for this because I saw it in Jetta Patrol's video, and I didn't think that they would have it because that was two weeks before I went. It is this Freddy Funko. It's Freddy Funko Astronaut number seven. I think it's really cool. It's like it has a little blaster gun and. Stuff like that. I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really cool. It's a Funko exclusive, obviously. So I didn't think I was gonna get um get one, but I've been sir I've been wanting a Freddy Funko for a while since I started collecting them, which was like a month ago. <laughs> it was a month ago and I have like 25. Let's be real, it's an addiction. <laughs> The second one that I got, I was determining whether to get two or three. I knew I wanted two of them, but I was like, hmm, do I really want the third one? And then I was like, yes, yes I do. I really want the third one. So the second one that I picked up that I knew I wanted was the Avengers um, Age of Ultron Captain America. It's got the shield. I just thought it was really cute. And I love Captain America. Captain America is my favorite Avenger, my favorite Marvel superhero of all time. And this one is vaulted, so I am super excited about that. I didn't know that when I picked it up, but then I went to the Funko website and searched like all the vaulted pops, and this was on there, and I was excited because now I have something special that you can't buy at a store. So there's this one. This one is probably one of my favorites of the day, of like this haul. Other than, these two are probably, ah, no! <laughs> these two are probably my favorites. I'm just, oh, they're just, perfect in my collection. They put the blue on them, which is my favorite color, so that's that helps too. <laughs> and the last one that I picked up there is this Rick and Morty weaponized Rick Chase. So yeah, I got this for a great price. And it looks like that. It's 
It's got Rick with his mouth open, which is different from the actual one. Yeah, and the blaster is facing a different way, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I got a chase. It was my first chase, and I was super excited about it. Because I've been searching for chases and hoping to find them, and I knew I would find something there. Ooh, this one's heavy. Why is this one more heavy? I don't know. Okay, and the last store that I went to, I went to both video games worlds at the same day because they're 20 minutes apart, so I thought, why not just go to both? Excuse me. So I went to the one in Mooresville. It wasn't as good as the one in Huntersville, so I got two pops there. I knew I wanted this one first. This is the Rick and Morty Mr. Meeseeks Chase. It looks like that. It's really cool because it's like Mr. Meeseeks when he's like um, all dirty and wants to die because he's um, he wants his um, the task to be finished, but it can't be finished because uh, yeah. <laughs> if you've seen the episode, you know what I mean. So I'm excited about this. This is one of my favorite episodes, and I love Mr. Meeseeks. So yeah, I was excited to pick that up. And then I saw this. This is the Star Wars Han Solo 2016 Summer Convention Pop Exclusive. He's got a little um, crossbow type thing. It's from the Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah, the Force Awakens movie. I hope you can see it. It's a little blurry. But yeah, this one's cool. I'm excited that I got it into my collection. No, do not fall. <laughs> yeah, so that is the pops that I have purchased in the last like two weeks, two, three weeks, maybe four. I don't know, depending on when this video comes out. I don't plan on buying any more pops until Charlotte Comic Con, which is gonna be a struggle for me, but I haven't gotten paid, so I am broke right now, so we don't have to worry about buying pops because I have no money to spend on them. Even though the Venomized Pops, the Venom Pop collection has just come out, and I really want it. Well, the only one that I want is the Captain America one, and that comes out when I'm up in Boone, so I'm not too worried about... I don't know, but I might go check the day that it comes out because I saw on GameStop when it would come out and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the pops I got. I got two chases. Like, for pretty good prices. That's always a good thing. Always a steal. I guess, yeah. Perfect ad for the collection because I don't have any Rick and Morty pops. So now I have two and they're special. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what I should do more of in the comments. Should I do more Funko? Um, yeah. So subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you guys next week, or this- I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have some videos planned. Like, I have like four videos planned, and I don't know like if I'm gonna post them all this month, or if I'm gonna break them up and do one video a week, or like a vid two videos in one week for like one week. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I will see you guys next time with another new video. Bye!